Hallelujah. We are still in the mood of praise and worship. Let's bring out our MFM hymn book. As open to him, number 685. 685. Standing on the promises of Christ our King. Through eternal ages, let his praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Hymn number 685. <laughs> Standing on the promises of Christ our King Through eternal ages let it praise it ring Glory in the highest hour we shout and sing Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Savior, standing, standing, I am standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises that cannot fail, when the Holy Spirit of doubt and fear has said, by the living word of God I shall be filled. Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God My Savior Standing, standing I am standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises of Christ the Lord, born to Him eternal and by long strong call, overcoming daily with a spirit soul. Standing on the promises of God, standing, standing, standing on the promises of God. My Savior, standing, standing, I am standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises I cannot fail, listing every moment to the Spirit call. Resting in my Savior and on all He knows. Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing. Standing on the promises of God. My Savior, standing, standing. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us all come together. Those of you at the back, let's come together. Let's come to the front. Don't let us get scattered all over. Praise the name of the Lord. As when we come together, we move in the spirit of unity. Uh -uh. It is well with us in Jesus' name. We are in the Holy Ghost hour now. Let us rise to our feet. Just as we know that we have the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. When Jesus Christ came, he promised us that we will not leave us being comfortless. He will not leave us as orphans. He's going to send the comforter to us. And this comforter is who we call the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes. Is God the Holy Spirit. Is a comforter, is a teacher, 
And the Bible says, we lead us into all truth. And when the comforter comes upon your life, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will know. Amen. Amen. As, as it is written in the book of Acts chapter 2, when the, it is well with the choir, when the disciples, when the apostles were together in one accord, and the Holy Spirit came upon them. Bible, Jesus told them that they should not leave that Jerusalem. The Holy Ghost will come upon them. And when the Holy Ghost come, came upon them, what happened? They spoke, they received power, and the evidence of receiving the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongues. Amen. Amen. And that is the language that the devil does not understand. So if you are here tonight and you are here to be baptized with the Holy Spirit, as you go into this Holy Ghost, sir, may you be touched by the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let's raise our hands to the Lord and begin to thank him, appreciate him, and honor him. We are in the era of the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit not be hidden from you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name. Thank you. Thank you for what God has done. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit. He's a teacher. He's a comforter. He's a guide. The Bible says we guide us into all truth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, come, 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 come. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, come, 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 come. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, come, come, come. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, come. Come, 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 Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, come and reign in our lives. Spirit, come, 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 Holy Spirit, come and reign. Holy Spirit, Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, come and reign. Say, Holy Spirit, baptize me afresh. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, even if you are already filled, it can fill you again and again and again. Holy Spirit, fill me afresh, baptize me afresh. Holy Spirit, baptize me afresh, baptize me afresh, baptize me afresh, and let those of us that are Holy Ghost Spirit be speaking in the Holy Ghost now. Maloko shakalaga sokorobo. Those that are yet to be filled, ask the Holy Spirit to baptize you afresh. Holy Spirit, come upon us. Holy Spirit, baptize us afresh. Maloko sukorobo shakalaya. Maloko sukorobo shida. Holy Spirit, come upon me. Baptize us afresh. Come upon us tonight. Baptize us afresh. Malaga sekelebo. Logo shekala baba. Holy Spirit, come upon my life. Holy Spirit, baptize me afresh. Holy Spirit, come upon me afresh. Holy Spirit, raga sekelebo shakaraba. Concentrate now, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. The evidence of speaking in tongues is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost now. The Bible says it that speak it in, in an unknown tongue. Speak it to the Lord. Though what you are saying is not fruitful to your understanding, but you are speaking directly to the law. That is a direct access to God. Malaga shakala yaya. Malogo sukorobo shandolo ya. Rapa baba baba ba. Rege lege lege lege. Reprogo zonto roko shida. Rapogo zonto roko shida. Reprogo zonto roko shida. Rapa baba baba. Rege lege lege lege. Reprogo zonto roko shida. Reprogo zonto roko shandolo ya. Reprogo zonto roko shida. Reprogo zonto roko 
Korea. Holy Ghost, fill us afresh. Baptize us afresh. Malaga sekelege. Rapa baba ba. Raga ga ga ga. Raga ga ga ga. Raga ga ga. Rapa baba ba. Raga bosukoroboshida. Fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my life. Feel my spirit, feel my soul, feel my life. Holy Ghost and fire. Spirit, feel my soul, feel my Holy Ghost and fire. I'm not hearing you. Feel my life. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, amen. Say, Holy Spirit, fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my body. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, fill my spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, fill my spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my body. Fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my body. Fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my body. Fill my spirit, Holy Ghost. Fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my body. Fill my spirit, fill my soul. Feel my body in Jesus' name. We are praying. Say, I challenge my spirit, soul, and body with the Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. I challenge my spirit, soul, and body with the Holy Ghost fire. I challenge my spirit, soul, and body with the Holy Ghost fire. I challenge my spirit, soul, and body. Begin to shake yourself, shake your spirit, shake your body, shake your hands, shake your legs. I challenge my spirit, soul, and body with the Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. I challenge my spirit, soul, and body with the Holy Ghost fire. In Jesus' name we are praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you come upon your children this evening. Holy Ghost, fire, begin to come upon them in their spirit, in their soul, in their body. Let all anything that is contrary to Christ in their system be flushed out now by fire. Be flushed out now by fire. Be flushed out now by fire. Let your souls be charged by the Holy Ghost. Let your tissues be charged by the Holy Ghost. Let your muscles be charged by the Holy Ghost. Let your body organs be charged by the Holy Ghost. Let your systems be charged by the Holy Ghost. Every form of infirmity, diseases, and uh, sicknesses in any area of your body be consumed by the Holy Ghost fire. 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 Or be consumed by the Holy Ghost fire. Be consumed by the Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus. Say, Holy Ghost. Patch me from my head to my toe. Holy Ghost fire. Patch me from my head to my toe. In the name of Jesus. Ask the Holy Ghost Father to purge you, any sickness in your body, any infirmity in your body, any disease in your body, Holy Ghost Fire, purge them out, 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 purge them out. In Jesus' name, you are clean. I challenge, I challenge my life with fire. I tell let my life with fire. I tell let my life with fire. I tell let my life with fire. Holy Ghost fire. Oh yes, I tell let my life with fire. I tell let my life with fire. I tell let my life with fire. I ask that fire to purge you in your spirit, in your soul, in your body. Anything walking contrary to your body. You shall see it no more. In the name of Jesus, sickness, infirmity, diseases, they are cleansed out of your system. In the name of Jesus, you are healed by the star of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go and live in peace. Live in healthy. In the name of Jesus, live being charged with the foul Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen.
Let's return to our seat. Just open your mouth and begin to bless the King of Kings. Bless him, bless him, bless him. I appreciate him. Thank him, thank him. Open your mouth and thank him. Open your mouth and thank him. Glorify him, worship him, worship him, worship him. Christ died. Stand and say, yeah. 
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is time for Bible study. Let us close our eyes for prayer. Our Father, we thank you for today. We worship and praise your holy name. We thank you for your goodness and your greatness. We thank you for your power and your mind. We thank you for the breath of life. We thank you for moving in our midst. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for so many uncountable blessings that we cannot begin to say everything. To you be all the praises, glory, honor, and thanks. As we go into your word today, open our mind. Let every seed of your word bring forth fruit with patience in Jesus' name. Let it bring forth divine revival in our life in Jesus' name. Reactivate our prayer life in Jesus' name. Charge us afresh in Jesus' name. Let fresh fire, fresh illumination, fresh revelation come by your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Are we with our manuals? Our booklets? If you are not with your booklet, can you please signify so that somebody can give it to you? We were on lesson 12. Tragedies of prayerlessness. And we define tragedy as danger, disaster, negative consequences. And prayerlessness as and prayerlessness as inability to pray, not praying at all, not eating your Goliath at the weak end of his forehead, the forehead of the, the open end of the Goliath, not praying enough, not expend, not increasing your net of prayers. And we went on to about 12, 13 different points on prayerlessness, what it is, what prayerlessness is. And we went further to the other part, which says, what are the dangers of prayerlessness? And we were able to discuss up to number point four, number four. The fourth one, which I said, which we discussed, it says, in, it will make us lose interest in God and the things of God. And I could remember we went to Acts chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. When King Herod held James, the brother of John, the, the church did not pray. When he killed him, they did not pray. When he saw that the Jews were happy, he now went to take Peter. At that level, the church started praying. That is the beginning of prayer. And God is a merciful God. If they had kept quiet, he wouldn't have sent his angel to go and deliver Paul. Ah, Peter, rather. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number five. Number five. He said, it will kill the trust in God in the days of trials and temptation. Everybody has a level of trust in God. But that level of trust can quench if certain incidents begin to happen. Matthew chapter 26 verse 40. Let's quickly open to that place. That is when Jesus Christ was praying before he was about to go to the cross. Matthew Chapter 26, verse 40 to 41. Are we there? And he came unto his disciples and find them asleep. And he said to Peter, What? 
Could ye not wash for me one hour? Wash and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. This kind of a thing can make anybody to lose confidence in God. It can make us to lose interest. You say somebody should be praying for you. You went and prayed. You came back. He was sleeping. And he was not happy. They could not they could not pray. Uh, they could not pray because they were weak. Now, when we now go further to verse 48 to 49 of the same chapter, Matthew 26, 48 to 49. That was when Judas Iscariot came to kiss him. And by the time he kissed him, they were now able to identify him. And that is when they arrested him. The reason why all these things keep happening was that even Peter, that God, Jesus Christ, trusted as his rock, he was not praying. Even Jesus Christ that was praying at that time was praying that sweat was, the that sweat was coming out of his body. He was praying fervently. And glory be to God. They nailed him to the cross. And that's where we are saved today. But they could not pray at that time when it matters most. And so it affects, it can affect the interest of followership. May God help us in Jesus' name. That amen is too weak. Number six, it can hinder you from making heaven. This is a serious issue. Every match of every Christian is to make heaven. If a person fails to make heaven, it is a disaster. But somebody missed heaven at the point of his death when he couldn't pray. Luke chapter 23. Luke chapter 23. Verse 42. Luke 23, 42. Are we all there? Are we all there? Most of us know the story. It's about one of the thieves that is nailed to the cross. They were discussing. One of them said, this man did not do anything. No. And the other one said, what are you saying? Why can't he deliver himself and deliver us? And look at what the man now said. Verse 42. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Very, very, I said unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Why did Jesus Christ say this statement? He made a last minute prayer. When people were about to be nailed to the, were about to be shot in the, yeah, final killing squad here. Yeah. They will tell them, say your last prayer. This man's last prayer was head on the spot. On the spot. He, he, that, and that prayer was answered. And Jesus Christ said, He will be with me in paradise that same day because He prayed. This particular prayer that he prayed, the other one was not praying. If he had prayed, he would have been in paradise. And that is why what prayerlessness can cause. It's a very short prayer. Lord, remember me when you get to thy kingdom. If he to say, Lord, remember me too, he would have made it to paradise. If you are sleeping, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, that shall be with me in paradise. And he made, and he made it to paradise that day. This is one of the luckiest human beings I've ever met. I've never seen. So lucky. No convention of it. No Bible study. No prayer and fasting. Nothing, 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 nothing. No foundational class membership. No, no Holy Ghost baptism. Straight to... He's a very lucky man. He's a ve because he prayed. He prayed. Lord, remember me. That's all. 
When we get home, please tell Lord, Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. And you will find out that God will remember us in Jesus' name. Let's go to the next verse. The seventh one, he said, it brings separation between you and the Holy Spirit. The Bible said in Psalm 51 verse 11, he said, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Immediately a man sins. The Bible says the Spirit of God will separate. God is an holy God. He cannot behold sin. He does not tolerate sin. No matter how your position is, that sin must be first, must first of all be washed away. Now, in the book of First Samuel, chapter 16, verse 14, 1 Samuel 16, 14, First Samuel 16.14. He's talking about King Saul. King Saul never prayed. Most of the issues he had, he was not praying. And that is one of his shortcomings. First Samuel 16.14 says, But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And look at what is next. He said, And an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Let us know the statement. The evil spirit is not from the devil. An evil spirit from the Lord. It means even the evil spirit and the spirit of God. They are still under the control of God. So if somebody allows sin to dominate his life and the Holy Spirit lives, there is no vacuum in spirit world. The same thing in the physical. So evil spirit will war, take over. But one problem with King Saul is that he doesn't pray. He doesn't pray at all. He doesn't pray. You will never see, I hardly see a place in the Bible where it's, they say he prayed. Mm -mm. He make inquiries when there is war, whether to go or not. But when he talks of prayer, zero. May God help us in Jesus' name. These are the tragedies and dangers of prayerlessness. It brings a separator between you and the Holy Spirit. Number eight, it opens our life to spiritual attack. Same for Samuel 16.23. Same for Samuel 16.23. I'm using this example because those things really fall in the lives of King Saul a lot. He said, and it came to pass. If when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took an harp and played with his hand so that Saul was refreshed and was well and the evil spirit departed from him. Now, when a life of a man is without defense. When that life is prayerless, it will give different rooms for different spiritual attacks. Evil spirit will come in. Evil spirit will go out. At relative ease. And as the condition demands. In this case, when David played the harps, the spirit of God will descend because the spirit of God inhabited the presence of his children. The evil spirit will depart. When uh, David carried his abs and goes away, the spirit of God goes, the evil spirit returns. So he now becomes an easy area for evil spirit or uh, spirit of God to enter and go and come in. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 26 says that when 
anyone that does not have control over his own life. It's like a broken wall. Anything goes in and comes out. And that is what is in the life of King Saul. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Because he does not guard his spirit. He does not control his spirit. The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it is are the issues of life. Number 10. Number 9, rather. It can close your heaven of abundance of blessing. Jeremiah 10, 21, 25. Now, 2 Corinthians 7, 14. Let's quickly open to that. 2 Chronicles, sorry. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. It's a very popular verse. Are we there? If my people, which are called by my name, humble themselves, which is the first one, humility, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. He now say, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and heal their land. So, the Lord will heal our land and our lives in Jesus' name. But the condition is that we must seek his face. We must pray so that our heavens will be open. Praise the Lord. Number 10, it increases the level of wickedness. Acts chapter 12, verse 3. We might not be able to go deep into that. When James... Uh, when uh, James, the brother of John, was taken by King Herod, he found out that the Jews were happy. He decided to take Peter. He now, that is a level of wickedness now. One down. Let me pick another one. If he is able to kill Peter, he will kill another person again. So level of wickedness can increase. That is what that pass is telling us. It increases the level of wickedness. It gives room for the devil and his agents to operate freely. It increases the operation of satanic power in the church of God. I will bring, everybody knows the story of Jonah. Jonah was forcefully taken when he was going to Tashish. He was sent back to Nineveh. He preached to the people of Nineveh. After preaching to the people of Nineveh, they repented. They went back to God. God turned his gun, uh, repented, and did not kill them again. Now, let us go to the book of Nahum. Nahum chapter 3. Nahum chapter 3. In Nahum chapter 3, the same Nineveh that uh, Jonah preached to, that repented, served the Lord. Now, let us read Nahum chapter 3, verse 7. And it came to pass that, that all day that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say, Nineveh is laid waste. Who will be mourn her? When shall I see comforter for thee? What is thy offense? Let us go to verse 4. Verse 4 says, Because of the multitude of thy war domes. Let us know the word. War domes. S is there. Multitude of thy war domes. That is not one war dome at all. It's multitude. Plural. And of the well favored allot. The mistresses of witchcrafts, plural witchcrafts, that selleth nations through our wardrobe and families through our witchcraft. This was Nineveh that Jonah preached to after some years, about the space of some years, because they did not pray. Because God has forgiven them, they now witchcraft. Wardom. 
was now visited unto their land. They could not resist it because they were, they were not praying. There is always a saying, new level, next level is another new devil. When the devil found out that they were able to survive the preaching, the, the, the wrath of God because of the preaching of Duna, he now visited them with witchcraft and water. That is what that place is telling us. That it can increase the level, the operation of satanic activities in the church. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Number 12, it kills fire and the power of God in the church of God. It makes the word of God and the presence of God to be scarce commodity in the church. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 20, when you get home, you read it because of our time. Jeremiah gave a prophecy to the king, I think pastor, king pastor, the prophecy was not comfortable to him. He said they should go and keep Jeremiah in the stock. That is where they put goods. Mm -hmm. Prophet Micah, when Jehoshaphat and King Ha want to go to war, he told him that he will not come back. That one now said, okay, put him inside the jail. Feed him with water and bread of affliction till I come back. And he didn't come back. Now, if you are me, he's a prophet at that time. And you see what they do to Micah because he gave the word of God. And God now say, oh, my son, my son, my son, go and meet the king and tell him this is the next thing that will happen to him. Be sincere to yourself. What will you do? That is what prayerlessness is causing. Because we fail to pray for our kings and our leaders. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1, it said, let us make intercession, prayer, thanksgiving for kings, for all men. That's the first thing. He now said, for kings and for those in authority. Failure to do this will lead to them falling. Nobody pray for Moses. When he offended God, God dealt with him. Nobody was praying for him. King Saul, nobody was praying for him. And these are the consequences of not praying for our leaders. God will help us in Jesus' name. Number 13, it reduces the level of holiness and righteousness in the church. Then number 14. Number 14. It makes you become a prey to the enemy. Judges chapter 16 verse 21. It talks about Samson. We all know the story. When they caught Samson, he was a prey in the hand of the enemy. They remove his two eyes. They now take him to the grinding mill. This person that was beating everybody, killing lion, was now grinding pepe. The kind of pepe they are grinding at that time is like a meal. Very heavy stone like that. You will be pushing it around. And if you pushing it around, it will be rolling somewhere and be grinding everything. That was what they put in. Maybe you have power be, be pushing this rule. And he was doing it. He became a prey to the enemy. Our life will not become a prey to the enemy in Jesus' name. Now, let us go to the next part. How to overcome prayerlessness. Number one, confess your sin. First John chapter 1 verse 9. I think everybody should be able to come out. If ye are able, if ye are able to confess your sins, and forsake them. The Lord is faithful and just to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Number two, live a righteous life. James chapter 5 verse 16. James chapter 5 verse 16. Can we open it to that page? James chapter 5 verse 16. Are we there? Yes, 
verse 16. He said, confess your fault one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The eventual, the eventual vervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Now, he now says something here. He said, Elijah was a man subject to like passion as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained none on the earth for a space of three and a half years. That is Elijah for you. So we need to live a righteous life, very righteous life, by praying earnestly to the Lord. Number three, he said, have a daily, regular time of prayer. We should pray in the morning, afternoon, and night. If we don't pray enough in the morning, you can pray in the afternoon, and you can pray in the night. But it is better from revelation that it is better you and me begin to pray by 12 midnight before the evil forces begin to set their traps here and there. Even if it is for 15 minutes, it is for our own good. And the Bible makes us to understand when Jesus Christ was telling Paul, hey, Peter, can you not watch for me for one hour? That means we are expected to pray at least one hour every day. At least. You can increase it to two, three, four, five hours. But at least one hour every day. May God help us in Jesus' name. The Bible says, number four, it said, Pray always. Luke 18, 1. That we should pray always. Praying without season. Luke 18, 1. Pray. The prayer is very important. It's like a life wire of every Christian. Failure to pray is to write a courier letter to the devil to invite, to come. And he spake a parable unto his disciple. To this end, to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Number five, pray persistently. Luke 11, 5 to 8. Pray persistently. Luke 11, 5 to 8. Luke 11, 5 to 8 was talking about somebody that keeps praying. Was talking about a woman that keeps troubling a judge that he should answer him. Let's just go to verse 8. He said, I said unto you, though he will not rise up and give him because of because he is his friend. Yet because of his importunities, he will rise, he will rise up and give him as many as he possible. That is because he keeps troubling his friend. Answer my prayer. Answer my prayer. Answer my prayer. Answer my prayer. That's why the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. When you keep knocking, if a judge can do like this, our Heavenly Father will do faster. Let's go to the next part. Pray earnestly. James 5, let's just go to 17 straight. James 5, 17. That gives us a clearer and a better explanation. James 5, 17. He said, Elias, as a man, of, as a man subject to like passion, as we are, as he prayed earnestly, that is my not rain, and it rained not on the head by the space of three and a half years. That is praying earnestly. Number seven, he said, be humble. James 4, 6. James 4, 6. It's a very popular verse. He said, but he giveth grace, more grace, wherefore? He give, uh, he said, but he giveth more grace wherefore, he said. God resisted the proud, but gave her more grace to the humble. The Bible did not say the devil resists the proud, though. He said God. So if you want to work with God, be ready to humble yourself. Failure to humble ourselves 
we make God to resist us. You can be a very pray, good prayer warrior. Your sin must be washed away. And you must be ready to humble yourself. Under those two conditions, God will answer our prayer. But if we fail to humble ourselves, it is not the devil that will resist us. It is not the devil that will resist us. It is God that will resist the person. May God help us in Jesus' name. Number eight, your faith must increase. For without faith, that's the level, yeah, Hebrew 11 says. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that will come to God must believe that he is and a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Number nine, pray about everything. Philippians 4 6. Is very, very important. Philippians 4 6. Pray about everything. That is, don't leave any stone unturned. Don't even assume. Our daddy in the last pray for us. I'm not going to pray about it again. You have assumed. Still go there and pray. James, uh, Philippians 4, 6. He said, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Now, I will also say number 10. We should pray for all men. 1 Timothy 2, verse 1 to 2. He said we should do prayer, supplication, thanksgiving for all men. He now specifically said for kings and for those in authority that they may live a peaceable life. One of the problems we are, the, the people of those age, the Old Testament had, but that nobody was praying for them. Nobody was praying for Moses. Nobody was praying for Elijah. Nobody was praying for Elijah. When it comes to so many people, you find that nobody was praying for them. When you check some books like Esther, then you see people praying and so on and so forth. One of the shortcomings of those people that fell was that nobody was praying for them. Now let's go further. In conclusion, prayer is a livelihood of Christian. The Bible advises that we should pray continuously. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 So, anything other than a, con a continual attitude of prayer and communion with God is a sin. Prayerlessness is the root cause of all deficiency and lack of spirituality. We became weak, ineffective, in our Christian living, the church becomes powerless and revival becomes cars. A prayerless person or a prayerless church is vulnerable to the bombardment of satanic attack. We need to shake off the spirit of laziness and prayerlessness and receive the spirit of revival to succeed in this our end time. One of the major things we need to know before we go to our prayers and answers is that the devil can do everything in the church. He knows the Bible more than most of us. He has been existing for over 6,000 years. So what scripture do you learn in, maybe you are in between 0 and 70 years, that you want to know more than the devil? He is also a priest master it, as lucifer in heaven he can do choir he can do pastor everything in the church he can do but he cannot pray because he can never pray to god and even if he tries to pray there can never be answer because a man cannot pray to his enemy and so let us take this opportunity and hammer him where his weak point is the unprotected forehead of, self, of, of devil is prayerlessness. And so when you now chisel you that head, that's with prayer, you have done a good bargain. God will help us in Jesus' name. Let us close our eyes. Any question? Any question before we close our eyes?
We have questions here. Can anybody can anybody tell us any Bible verse that you can remember and quote it accurately? Any Bible verse? Yes, ma. That we have quoted. Anyone? Just say it. We hear you. I will say it. Yes. Ah, mommy, give me another one. Pray with us. Any other one? Just say any one. Hebrew 11, 1. Faith is substance of things so far. The evidence say, of things. Hebrew 11, 6 to say. But don't worry. God will bless you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Take my. <laughs> Uh, praise the Lord. Can somebody give me how to overcome prayerlessness? Two. Just two. Just two. Confess your sin and live a righteous life. Always pray. God bless you. Always pray. We have finished our Bible study. And our time is gone. Let's close our eyes for prayer. Let's pray the prayers there. Number one. Power to pray without ceasing. Power to pray without ceasing. Fall upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Power to pray without ceasing. Fall upon my life. Fall upon my life. Fall upon my life. Fall upon my life. Power to pray without ceasing. Fall upon my life. Fall upon my life. In Jesus' name we pray. My Father, deliver me from spiritual lukewarmness. In the name of Jesus Christ, deliver me from spiritual lukewarmness. Deliver me from spiritual lukewarmness. Deliver me from spiritual lukewarmness. In Jesus' name we pray. Holy Spirit, teach me to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, teach me to pray. Holy Spirit, teach me to pray. Holy Spirit, teach me to pray. In Jesus' name we pray. My prayer altar shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. My prayer altar shall not die. Receive resurrection power. In the name of Jesus Christ, my prayer altar, you shall not die. Receive resurrection power. In Jesus' name we pray. Whatever is in, whatever is in me that will make me to take my God for granted. Whatever that is in me that will make me to take God for granted. Die. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I release myself from every ancestral pollution. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release myself from every ancestral pollution. I release myself from every ancestral pollution. I release myself from every ancestral pollution. In Jesus' name we pray. Holy Ghost fire, possess me with your fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, possess me with your fire and your power. 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 Holy Ghost fire, possess me with your fire and your power. In Jesus' name we pray. If that and is for Jesus, you can do better, you can do better, you can do better, you can do better. Now I want to invite the choir to lead us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you are happy to be in the presence of the Most High God, can you shout a louder hallelujah? Hallelujah. I want to congratulate all of you that is seated here today. I want to tell you, you are the true member of this church. Tell yourself, I am the original member of this church. I am the original member of this 
You may not know why a true member is the one who attends Sunday service and attends Bible study. Because you have done this, you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I want to introduce uh, these songs. We'll be learning it. Last week, we learned this song, but we did not dance to it. So today, we want to do it with beat. So that by the time we sing it on Sunday, when others are chewing their mouth, you'll be singing the song. So you are double blessed today in the name of Jesus. Amen. The song says, one, wonder, 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 wonder is your name. Wonder is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is a wonderful God. The son, second one is saying, ma joba lo, ma joba lo, ni nu ayemi. You can say, ni nu ilemi. You can even say, ni nu Nigeria, ni nu ijowa. Are we not blessed? Hallelujah. Now, I will just run it through. Then we will give the beat. I will expect you to join me to dance and sing this song. As you do so, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Ha. Wonder, 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 wonder. Let's rise, let's rise. Wonder, wonder. is your name. Wonder, 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 wonder. Rise, wonder. rise, rise to your feet. Wonder is your name. Say wonder, wonder, wonder. Oh yeah. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Wonder is your name. Wonder is your name. Hey, hey, wonder, 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 wonder. 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 Wonder, wonder, wonder is your name. Say wonder, 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 wonder. Oh yeah, wonder is your name. Say wonder, 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 wonder. Wonder is your name. Say ya, mama, oh we ya, mama say ya. Oh, ye wa ye, agama si ya ye, sati ya uma. We say uma machi. Oh ye, agama si ya, agama si ya ye, agama si ya ye. Oh ye wa ye, agama si ya ye. Sasi ya e, Jose Mama Jesus. Hey, oh yeah, say wonder, 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 wonder. Hey, wonder is your name. Say wonder, 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 wonder. We say one more time. Say wonder, wonder, wonder. We say, say, Agama say ya, Huma, hey, Agama say ya, hey, oh ye wa ye, oh ye wa ye, Agama say ya, hey, Agama say ya, hey. We say, one more time, Agama say ya, hey, 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 say ya, hey. Hagama si ya e, oh ye wa ye. Hagama si ya e, kamasi ya e. We say, oh mama Jesus, oh ye baby. Ha! Now the second one is saying, ma jobalo ni nu ayemi. Now, if you know you have a challenge in your place of work, you will tell God, my job, Lord, you know, you share me. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Can you dance to Jesus? My job, Lord. My job, Lord, 
Let's lift up our hands and begin to bless him. Let's bless him. Begin to bless him. Begin to bless him. For in Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. And I pray tonight that Jesus Christ will continue to reign in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, we are in so Holy Ghost here now. Thank you, Jesus. Let's begin to wave our hands in appreciation for what God has been doing in our life, for his mercy, for his grace. Oh, yeah, for being our strength and shield. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For always feel as we shall have growth and triumphant. Worshiping, worshiping, worshiping. Thank you, faithful Father. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy, Lord. We bless on them, we magnify on them, Lord. Thank you for your word that has set us free tonight. Thank you for the special number songs. Father, Lord, we adore you, Lord. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Huh? And we worship you for what you are going to do right away. We say, be that be glorified forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Close our eyes and pray like this again. The ark of fire. Okay, no. Hack of fire. Okay, no. Locate my bondage here tonight. Why did they and set me like free. So, so me don't in the now. mighty name no, of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yes. Hack of fire. Okay, no. Hack of fire. Locate my bondage here tonight and set me free. 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 Hack of fire. Hack of fire. Locate my bondage here tonight and set me free. And set me free. And set me free. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's sing this worthy song like this. Holy Ghost fire, come down. Oh. Holy Ghost fire. Your hands. Holy Ghost fire, come down. Oh. Holy Ghost fire, come down. Oh. Ah, come and possess me. Come and possess me. Holy Ghost fire, come down. Holy Ghost fire, come down. Holy Ghost fire, come down. Hey, come and possess me. Holy Ghost fire, come down. Come and possess me. Holy Ghost fire, come down. Come and possess me. Holy Ghost fire, come down. 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 Hey, come and possess me now. Holy Ghost fire, come down. Fire, come hey, down. come and possess us. Holy Ghost fire, come down. 
Lay your hands me with your mighty power. Say, say, let my problems vanish. He's going the world just seeking it. Aha! Thank you, Jesus. Let my problems vanish away. Lay your hands me with your mighty power. Let my problems vanish away. Lay your hands on me with your mighty power. Let my problems vanish away. Lay your hands with your mighty power. Amen. Say powers. Powers. Using my problem to get promotion. You are too wicked. So much out and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Powers. Using my problem to get promotion. You are too wicked. Some are sort and die. 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 Power using my problems. Power using my challenges. To get Motion. Oh, yes, some are certain die. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say powers. Behind my delay miracles. Powers. Behind my delay miracles. You are a failure. Some are certain die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, say. Some are sort and die. Powers. Behind my miracles. Some are sort and die. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, altar of poverty. Altar of poverty from my father's house, from my mother's house, from my environment, from my place of working. I stand against my prosperity. Cash for you! Bunch of ashes now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Every altar of poverty in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my environment, in my place of work. Oh, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Cash fire. Burn to ashes. Cash fire. Burn to ashes. Cash fire. Burn to ashes. Cash fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, which craft banker? Which craft banker? All the, the instrument of my prosperity. Why are you holding it? Cash fire. Release my instrument of prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Where's your bank? Hold the instrument of my prosperity. Why are you holding it? Release it now by fire. 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 Release it by fire. Release it by fire. Release it now by fire. Release it now by fire. Release it now by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, O oh Lord, my Father. O oh Lord, my Father. Use this night to create an opportunity of wealth for me and my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my Father. Oh, yeah, use this night, Lord. Say, 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 say. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 
to any satanic agent that want to attack me in my dream tonight. Cash fire and die. 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 In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Oh Lord, my Father. Did this is my Joseph's dream for me tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father. Did this be this man just said dream for me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father. Be this man just said dream for me tonight. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. So how what we are said we soak them with the blood of Jesus. We shall have testimony concerning them. In the mighty name of Jesus. No power will stand against it. And no ignorance will stand against it. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. We in the morning. Don't miss any of the service for any reason. Praise the name of the Lord. Monday is command the morning. 6.30 in the morning, 7.45 in the morning. Tuesday, Bible study, 5.30 p.m. And every Tuesday and Wednesday is the deliverance program. God bless you as you join us in our services. Shall we rise? Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Begin to bless him. Worship his holy name. Adore him, adore him. Thank him, thank him, thank him. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Shall we share the grace together? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dread us with love forever and ever. Amen. Before we shout hallelujah, we should not forget our Monday is a special program. So Monday is public holiday. We are to come with our request. What are those things that you want God to do for you? Monday is public holiday. And we are going to have a nice time before God. Our program starts at 6.30 in the morning. And write your request. What do you want God to do for you? Write all those things. Don't come alone. Invite your friends. Call on your families. Call on your colleagues in your place of work. And so on and so forth. God bless you as we attend it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we now shout three resounding hallelujah? Let's go. Hallelujah.